signs of a modern or modernized Muslim woman. She says, ain't no good men. After several experiences with men, she has reached the conclusion, ain't no good men. I would hope that this person has not ran through all of the men to make such an assessment. Maybe she's talking about her city. I would hope this person has not ran through all of the men in her city. I would hope this person has not ran through all of the men, all of the men at the masjid that she attends. Nevertheless, she makes an assessment. There are no good men. She didn't choose well, but yet she says there aren't any good men. Perhaps she has put herself in a state where no good men would go near. So in her myopic view, her nearsighted view, there are no good men. Another sign of a modernized Muslim woman is she uses terms like chauvinist, chauvinist, sounds French, chauvinist. A sister just told me the other day, she said, that's a chauvinist view. It was actually a hadith from Sahih Bukhari. And she said, that's, that's based on chauvinist views. Subhanallah. So we see where that goes and what type of iman that entails, if iman at all. She uses terms like chauvinist, narcissist, narcissist. I would challenge them to spell it. I would challenge those that say it to spell it. Narcissist. She uses terms like Toxic masculinity. When did masculinity become toxic? If they were feminine, there would be no such thing as a toxic masculinity. If they were feminine, indeed. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brother Michael Smith, and Sister Ziza, Aziza. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Ahlan wa sahlan, welcome. Last term you'll hear a lot. Well, let me let me go back to toxic masculinity. I don't want to breeze by that. Toxic masculinity. If they were feminine, there will be no such thing as a toxic masculinity. It'll just be masculinity. And because our masculinity makes us black mane lions and silverback gorillas as men, alpha, they, they have taken on masculine traits. Modernized Muslim women have taken on masculine traits. So therefore, our masculinity becomes toxic because no matter how short they cut their hair, no matter how much they dress like men, you can even call them studs. They can't take a punch. They cannot take a punch and they are short a Y chromosome. They use terms like misogynist. Used to be manly men. Now we are misogynist. You can't go outside. You can't go outside. You can't go to the store. And I don't want you hanging with such and such as company. You're misogynist. I'm a man within my right by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But 
these new terminologies, I would challenge them to spell them. Before you point an accusatory finger at a natural man, I would ask that they spell it. Now, this is not all Muslim women. I'm making a distinction. Modernist Muslim women. They attack, tafs they attack excuse me, tafsir, Quran, commentary of Quran, and ahadith, and sayings of the, of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that contradict their narrative. They are already preconceived narrative. They attack a hadith, plural of hadith, a hadith, and they attack tafsir Quran. If it does not fit their preconceived delusional narrative. This is a sign of modernist Muslim women.